hello everyone welcome to the channel today we are going to have a quick tutorial on stress analysis to avoid wasting time let's get started so let's take the front plane we go to sketch we take the center rectangle right in the middle and then we'll define it this will be 1800 and on the other side 900 millimeters then okay we go to feature extrude so 50 millimeter will be okay then we'll take this side and then uh, we'll sketch some center line we go to infinite length right in the middle then we we'll click we go here too good then we'll take the circle right here, we'll define it. So this will be 100 millimeters. Okay, let it be 150 millimeters. Okay, then uh, we'll define the side too. And this will be 120. And, and here, We'll have 120 as well. Then uh, the mirror. So we are going to mirror this circle about this line. We'll click OK. Then again, we go to mirror. We'll mirror the circle about this line. Then OK. And then uh, we mirror. The circle. About this line. Then OK. Then we go to feature. Extrude. So this one will be 800 millimeter. OK. Then, okay. So now we have our table. So now we'll sketch the spot where we can apply the load. So I'll go to sketch and select the rectangle, then define it. So this one will be 160. On the other side, 600. Then okay, so let's trim this part and then so we need to define the sketch again. So let's leave it this way from here to here. So now we need to split the sketch. So we we'll select the sketch and then this part. So it's quite important to define the area where the load will be applied. Then OK. So the next step now is to run the stress analysis. So I have it already here. So if you don't have it, what you can do is to go to the option dialog box. Right here, you can see hide in, I click on it. Then here it is. You can just click and press OK. So since I have it, I'll just go to simulation and new study. So we can we can leave it this way or name it. It's up to you. This one, I'll name it as table static because we are running a static analysis. So I'll click OK. Then I'll click the part. And from here, on the right click, you can edit the material or you can see it here too. 
then uh, I'll go for the this material then apply and close so since we have the material then uh, the next step is to create the boundary conditions so now we need to set the boundary condition which are extremely important so I'll go to fixed geometry so I assume that this table is a table at the workshop and the legs are fixed to the ground so I'll take the bottom face and then click OK so we are now applied the load so we go to external load advisor and then we'll select force so I'll go for the selected direction so down here you could see the direction that the force will be taking so by highlighting this window we can select the face where we want our force to be applied so I took this one and then we go down here I'll select this one too and then click it so and then we'll open one of the direction so if you open this one you see that the arrow are pointing to that direction and now you can close it open that one too you'll see see how the arrow are behaving and then by taking this one and closing this one you'll see that this one is pointing upward and that we can just reverse the direction and then we have our result so we will now apply the magnitude so I'll take 2000 Newton, which is about 204 kilos. So 204 kilos on the table right here. And then we'll see how the table behaves. Okay. We'll click. Okay. Then now we go to mesh, right click. So we'll leave the mesh for today. Then we'll just go to mesh and run. Now we have our result. We could see the deformation and then the force are applied right in the middle here. So let's run the simulation. Uh, we can reduce the frame by stopping. I can just give it 45. Okay, now we can see the reaction. It's quite slow. And then you see how red this one gets. So those are just the stress that are shown here. And then uh, here you have the displacement. And then you have the strain as well. Okay. So I think it's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the videos for more content. Bye for now and thank you so much.